Hey, this is going to be part five and I'm going to be talking about how to embed your drawings into your documents and also we'll talk about portability. For this part, I'm going to open up uh, an empty markdown document and let's just look at the simple embedding. Uh, I'll select a drawing from here and I simply drag the, the file here and put an exclamation mark before it and you can see that the image uh, is transcluded. Now this is in uh, edit mode and the reason the image shows is because I have a plugin installed which is Ozan's image in editor plugin and I've turned on the render x -Coli draw in editor switch and for that reason I can already see the drawing uh, even in edit mode. Ozan's plugin is particular about uh, file naming so if I change the file name and instead of x -Coli draw I remove the W then what you will see is that the image no longer shows. Uh, I can fix this by adding the .md um, to the file name because in reality this is the full file name. The x -Coli draw is actually not required in the in the file name. So if I come here, I could um, I could I could do this. I could say this is uh, maybe a right image or. Uh, drawing like this and this is still a valid file uh, this is a markdown file if I am add MD then it is going to render correctly uh, if I change to uh, preview mode then the preview will happen even though uh, the file name doesn't have that ending so this uh, file name thing or the um, extension thing is an Ozan's uh, image in editor uh, thing and I actually um, continue to use the uh, dot x -Coli draw extension even though uh, it is no longer uh, required. Um, let me just show you some uh, tricks here so if I want to transclude the last or most recent drawing I have uh, this uh, embed function here and I can uh, transclude the most recently edited drawing so that was uh, my mind map and indeed you can see that the mind map was added I can also use the common palette to embed uh, whatever drawing I want. So here I get all the uh, drawings from my uh, vault and let's see I have um, a SWOT analysis uh, drawing so if I click this then the SWOT analysis um, drawing uh, is added. Now what I can also do is I can add some formatting to this so if for example I add uh, 400 then that is going to set the width of the image and if I add uh, right then it is going to render the image right when it's in preview mode so you can see that this image is now on the right if I add some text here so I'm just going to add some uh, run random text here and now I show you again in preview mode then you can see that the image is on the right and the text is below it. If I want the text to wrap around the image I can change this to right wrap and with that the uh, text is going to be wrapped to the side uh, of the image and in reality anything that you put after uh, the second uh, or sign or pipe character is going to be added to the style of the uh, image uh, in this way that uh, you can see the, the div and the image tag so if you're an, a CSS wizard you can use this to do whatever formatting you'd like uh, 
uh, with your image. I also want to show you that if I open uh, this image now uh, in Xcolid Raw, and let's just uh, create us uh, some space that we can better uh, edit. Maybe I'll, I'm just going to bring this down here uh, like this, and um, and maybe still make it a bit bigger uh, like this. Then I can uh, change the uh, color. So maybe I'll change this to transparent. So this is now, this has a transparent background and I'm just going to put this into preview mode. And you can see that with the transparent, the transparent color uh, comes across. I can also, I'll, I'll change this back to white and I can change to dark mode and if I come here then this becomes dark. You can change these settings so if you come to uh, the Xcoli draw settings uh, down here you see it says export image with background and export uh, image with theme. If the background is off then uh, the image is always going to be um, transparent and if the theme is off then uh, the image is going to appear you can see it already changed uh, to white so then it's going to disregard the dark theme uh, for the image uh, so these are some settings you can see now it's uh, transparent uh, these are some settings that you can play with uh, in terms of how your uh, drawing uh, is embedded so let me close this here and let's look at some uh, additional options. So let me just uh, open up uh, this image. So I clicked on the image and that opens up uh, the image. And when the image is open, I have a couple of uh, options. Uh, I can actually uh, go uh, to the uh, options menu, more options menu, and you can see I can export this file to an Xcolid draw file. If I click this, then uh, this uh, window comes up and I can simply choose a file name to save it. It saves it outside my vault uh, into a file, which I can go ahead and um, if I come to Xcolid draw, I can uh, open up this file and uh, then you can see this file was uh, exported into the Xcolid draw file format. I can also click here to save this as an SVG for example and what happens is uh, the SVG file was uh, created right next to this. I can also choose the common palette and uh, option and I can uh, do the same. I'm now going to save this as a PNG as well and so now I have my PNG file and my SVG file uh, here. There are some settings uh, in settings. So what you can do is uh, auto by default uh, Xcoli Draw is going to keep the file names in sync. So if I would change uh, this and would uh, add uh, maybe an X at the end of the name, then you can see that these two names were changed as well so the names will follow uh, the file also uh, if i would go ahead and move this file into the 2021 folder then if i open the folder then you can see that these two uh, files followed uh, the uh, this this uh, drawing and so this is quite helpful if uh, you want to uh, keep these uh, right next to your, your drawing. Also, you can set up auto export to SVG and PNG. If I turn on auto export to SVG, then what happens is when I, whenever I open up a drawing uh, and I uh, do some whatever edits on it and I move away from that drawing, for example, I close it, then at that moment 
automatically the SVG is created and every time your drawing is modified you'll have an SVG copy of the drawing. This can be helpful because then this way you can platform independently uh, embed your uh, drawings uh, into, um, into your documents. Uh, also, um, I think those are the, the key uh, items and the export to xcollegeraw.com uh, that I also explained as well. So those were the basic uh, embedding and portability features I wanted to show you.